Hello friends, uh, if you are someone like me who has this requirement of uh, you know routine tasks that you want to perform automatically, um, I was searching for it on YouTube and uh, came across this tool, Petrina. Downloaded it for the free version and uh, used it and just blew my mind. And I thought, well, you know, I have to purchase it. So, you know, eventually I went on purchasing it. Within just first week, I made such a big use of it. Uh, you know, I automated so many things that, um, you know, it, it just paid off in the end. Now, for the purpose of this, you know, I have cleared uh, my tool and I have reinstalled it. And, you know, just to uh, keeping the backup of my macros and all. But um, I'm going to demonstrate quickly. I'm going to show you a couple of things that how beautiful things this tool can do. And uh, I I'm also going to demonstrate how you can do such a simple things like, uh, uh, you know, automatically creating your emails, routine emails, you know, with your templates. Um, very easy. So many things you can do. Well, let's have a quick, uh, a quick go through this. So this is the website. It's basically patreonac.com. And um, you can see that how this is how it looks like. I'm going to also show you everything, but let's go through quickly, you know, how it basically looks like. So this is the window. I mean, I have enlarged it through my enlarged it through my uh, you know display settings, but uh, so that you can see it clearly. But basically, uh, you know, you can either create macro different kinds of macros. Um, uh, you know, here you can have macros here listed. Uh, you can have all the different macros within the same binder. So you can have your own folder of macros. You can have multiple folders of macros you can have trees so you know macro folder within that there is another macro folder and things like that you can organize your macros in a such a beautiful way so far i don't know any other tool that can organize macros such a beautifully uh, such beautifully then uh, you can if you go a little downwards um, this is where your commands are going to be so per macro let's say here it's this uh, config imp um, impl me so this particular macro is highlighted and that macro related all the commands are at the bottom and um, i'm going to take you through a simple macro so you know basically how this is all created and then you can have this different commands you can set triggers you know different triggers you can set like some something like if you if you type something let's say uh, test uh, or dot test and it's going to do something it's something that you already have coded in that macro and you don't need to by the way no coding it just does everything automatically everything is very uh, intuitive so you know it's just very easy so you can organize macros nicely uh, you can have dif different trigger conditions like text shortcuts as i said you know you just type something and it's just gonna do things automatically for you or some kind of hotkeys uh, let's say you press Control, shift alter or uh, z or something like that and it just does whatever that that macro is programmed for or maybe you do some kind of a mouse um, gesture or actions and it's going to trigger that macro from there or maybe you can have some kind of a time and that's date set for it and it on that time on that date it's gonna run it <coughs> so you can also have um, uh, you know schedule so you can create a schedule and it's gonna run that macro on a routine basis um, till you have set it to end or not run anymore so you can also set that, which is quite useful, to be honest, uh, for maybe some kind of routine things. You you Every week you want to copy uh, everything from your downloads folder into your uh, network attached storage or something like that. You know, anything you want to do or maybe some important folder that you have that you want to create a copy of that in your NAS every week. And uh, you just want to do this through a uh, routine macro. You just don't want to worry about it, um, you know, installing any other softwares for it or or and, and things like that you know you can do all those things toolbar thing you probably might not have found anything that can create toolbars for you that if you create this kind of toolbar trigger then in that macro you will have that toolbar visible somewhere on your screen very tiny little toolbar on, visible on your screen and you just click on that toolbar and it's just going to execute that that macro for you and you say well you know it's going to be annoying well you can define the scope so you can choose your application and when that application is open then only that button will be or the toolbar will be visible such a beautiful thing you can perform the you know the trigger through the file and folder uh, related actions so you know and further there are more triggers as well you can further and you can download this you can by the way come to this website 
uh, petrinec.com sorry petrinec.com and uh, you know just go to downloads and uh, just go to downloads and just simply download the free version and, and evaluate yourself i'm i'm very sure like me uh, the once you will use this this will blow your mind that wow you know in my case i didn't know this before and um, i have been using computer for for so long so many years and if i knew this probably my life would have been much easier by now i must have had so many things automated uh, that you know even beyond my normal needs because you know uh, if once you know how you can do things automatically uh, you know you start automating almost everything that you probably don't even think that you you need that automation so come here download the free version install it you know use it and you will you will be happy that uh, you know this tool all right so let's keep going through this you know this is how it basically looks like uh, this is some kind of a rich text macro that example that's shown here uh, i'm going to show you that uh, so that you know the, how that is done uh, all kinds of macros that you can do you know if you have simple text rich text clipboard clipboard related data manipulation uh, key mouse related macro so by the way you can also record the macro here so you can record macro through just this button so basically you click on this button and you move your mouse you you type anything on your keyboard and that's all going to be recorded so it's going to be in a sequence that you perform those mouse and keyboard actions and anything routine that you perform maybe you uh, maybe you know create a new tab and then go to specific website so you type that website and then you move your mouse to a specific menu item in that website and 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 then you know uh, you go somewhere do something maybe go to youtube or or type something and then uh, whatever is the first video you click on that one and whatever so if if you do things like that um it's going to whatever that you want to repeat you can just literally capture the recording it's just you just record it and that's it once your recording finishes you have the macro ready you just need to execute it it's such a beautiful thing um yeah so as i said you can insert plain text easily insert rich text easily i'm using this extensively by the way um you can insert clipboard data uh, you know into different applications and uh, uh, you know uh, you can use that that way you can by the way you can watch the videos uh, the website has cool videos uh, that's going to show you how this is done um and then it's your imagination you know you can use it for your own purpose a uh, keyboard trigger so there are different kind of triggers as i said you know there are keyboard triggers as you can see um either you can have the text shortcut uh, dot something or you have or you know just anything you don't need to put dot but if you put dot that means that you're not going to likely hit that in a you not no that particular keyword or that particular text shortcut in your normal routine use um you can have hotkeys something like this and if you hit that that's going to run the macro then uh, you can have as i said you can have macro toolbars see the example see the example video you can have macro recorder as i said you know you can have macro recorder you can have different settings for it um auto basically you can automate any task you know it's just about your imagination you just think about something okay this is what i need and you can just uh you know play around the tool and you will make it happen um and, and it's just amazing so yeah you know so many examples and things that they have mentioned here now the beauty is this you can use free no problem you know you can keep using free but if you just end up paying 100 dollars you basically there is no uh, the, the beauty is there is no subscription uh, originally i thought i'll i will go with uh, power automate because you know that's other kind of things that i came across on youtube but the thing is it's very expensive number one number two is very complicated and the thing is it's kind of subscription so you know you just keep going on and on you know you just keep paying for it and uh, it's not as intuitive as this you know once you will download this and you compare that you know you use the power automate uh, related videos you will compare and you will find that wow i mean this is so simple and easy and it just covers so many things um it has all the system variables and everything inside it so you can just simply you know use them it's just beaut beautiful okay now let me demonstrate very quickly how this was by the way, this was my uh, first macro that i created either i have cleaned things up so you know you will not find anything any macros right now because i have backed them up and and things like that but okay let me quickly demonstrate how you can create a macro so this is add a general macro you can add any general macro you can create a hotkey macro i can a macro with commands so you know there will be commands here uh rich text 
replacement macro or run macro every week or you know a simple macro replacement macro so you know simple text replacement macro sorry so you can do all those things uh, you know yourself let's go with this rich text replacement macro so basically what's going to happen is that i just clicked on it it just created one macro under my macros i mean you, i would have changed this to something uh, okay so maybe i would have added one more okay i can change the i double clicked and i can change the name here so basically uh, let's say this is my test macros for example so let's see yeah okay and by the way i can set a password for it uh, so just in case you know if i want to keep keep it secure i can actually do that so that's that's cool i didn't know that before all right so basically this is a macro let's say i want to set a trigger condition first so i go here uh let's say uh I want to type anything let's say email to customer e2c just in normal uh, in, in normal usage I'm not going to type dot e2c in anyway so you know so let's have this kind of short text shortcut macro I want to I want it expand automatically I don't want to delete sorry I don't want to keep the shortcut so let it delete the shortcut um, this should not be part of the uh, any any other word I want this a full word typed and uh, it's okay case sensitive you know let's keep it that way let's keep it simple for now and then I said okay it's gonna save it okay I come here now let's do one thing I have created a small little email like this particular email uh, like any routine email that you might be sending on a routine basis to your I don't know maybe to your friend to your colleague in your office uh maybe your subordinate uh, and, and things like that you know you can you may be writing this kind of emails for example so what let's do one thing let's actually change the fonts because it's rich text so let's change the fonts to something let's say bell mt oh looks cool okay let's maybe change this to uh, 10 maybe let's say let's make it bigger 12 and let's copy this I just had to write this once by the way so I wrote it once I put it in my macro I just put it in my macro see so that's all all I want that's it this whole thing is now part of my macro when I'm going to run it it's just going to execute the whole thing it's all done I say okay yeah okay it's all saved that's it that's how simple it is I just created a macro rich text macro just came at the bottom and set the trigger condition pasted whatever I had to do in a routine basis now all I have to do is simply go into my email writing uh, let's say uh, May uh, 2021 task reminder something like that by the way I can do this also with a macro I don't need to uh, type it but now look at this look at this I'm just going to write dot e to c that's it look <laughs> bloop it's all there perfectly 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 uh, you know put look at this it's exactly the same font exactly the same font size everything with all the bulleting and everything it's all there such a beautiful thing guys i can i can't tell you enough how useful this tool is this Pitrinec I, this probably is is years of work by this team development team and I can't thank them enough I generally don't have sufficient time you know to 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 uh, to be a, a, a fan enough to you know go into uh, into into uh, you know YouTube or, or or you know create some kind of video like this but I think this tool can help so many people like me and, and I was actually surprised that I didn't know this before by the way uh, if I knew this before my life would have been much much easier I didn't know even that this kind of things can be possible I normally thought that you know I have to code something I have to do some kind of programming and of course you know I mean not everyone is a programmer so I mean the thing is you don't need to do any programming it's just you know everything is done easily uh, in case if you want to create different kind of macros <coughs> sorry let's say you want to do some kind of file manipulation let's say you have uh, uh, just an example let's say you have uh, uh, 10,000 
MP3 files in a single folder and you want to, uh, let's say you want to uh, segregate or you want to categorize all the albums within their own folders and without doing anything manually. All you do is just simply come here, select your folder, create your macro. So you created a macro here. So this particular macro. In that macro, just add the commands. This if this is the add command above, this is the add command below. So select, you don't need this. So select this add command and all these different possibilities that you have. For example, if you want to do file manipulation, manip manipulation, come here. You can do all the file manipulations. You know, all the help is just right there. You just select, select, if you have selected this, show command help. All the help is right here. That means this is file CSV load related or you know CSV file loading, get the record fields, they're getting the data from basically CSV file and things like that. So you can do all those things. Uh, you can have file load text. You can have the dot, uh, you know, file save text, encryption, decryption if you want to do that. Uh, this is very useful, by the way. If you have very specific files, your macro will decrypt or encrypt for you. Uh, so, you know, you want to keep it secret or if you want to keep it uh, private, you can do that. There are so many things you can do. Look at this. So many file operations, you know, file open, file move, file copy, file disk, file that. You can also do this folder things. Uh, you know, you can, you can do folder copy. You can move the folder, you can open the folder, you can rename the folder, you know, you can create the folder. So in that little example I was giving, we're just going to create this with the help of this command. You're going to create specific folders by having that the file name of the album copied or truncated in a way, specific way, removing the, uh, you know, initial some uh, unrelated or, or un- uh, so uh, not required uh, text you can remove from the uh, in the beginning at the back you can remove all that you know trim it use it modify it eventually copy it and, and create a folder with that particular name so that's going to be your uh, you know your folder name and then you copy all those files uh, all the files in you know dot uh, you know uh, underscore zero one zero two zero three if you have all those album files you can move all of them into that folder automatically for all the albums you might have you know 10,000 files that may be I don't know maybe it can be uh, uh, thousands of albums if you have per album like 10 uh, 10 different audios or different uh, you know music files then you can easily have like thousand albums and this you don't need to do anything you know just create this macro it's just gonna uh, take care of everything you can create the sequence of commands that's gonna do those actions for you so it's just beautiful. If I get some time, I'm, I'll probably demonstrate this, um, uh, you know, and create another video for it. But uh, yeah, you know, it's beautiful too. You know, I really, I'm, I'm really big fan of this now because uh, this has <laughs> literally replaced a lot of things that I used to do manually. I ended up saving so much time uh, within just first week of my use that I just could not stop myself to just come forward and, and create this little, uh, maybe, you know, 10, 20 minutes worth of a video and put it on YouTube because I hope this helps someone. Uh, yeah, just amazing. Yeah, so I, uh, that's all. That's all I wanted to say for now. So thank you. If you have any questions uh, regarding the tool, uh, you know, of course you can reach out to, to the development team. I'm not a developer, by the way. I'm just a user. So uh, you can go to, to them directly. But if you if you think I can help you with something, yeah, put in comments. Uh, I'm, I'm not very active on YouTube and all, but, uh, you know, if you think I can be useful, then... Uh, definitely, I put your comments in, in the first chance I get, you know, I will respond to to your comments. But yeah, have a look, at least, you know, have a look, download, have a look this tool. I'm sure, I'm sure you will be in the same position like I'm, I'm myself. You will like this tool. You will automate so many things uh, it's in such an intuitive way with such a, you know, diverse range of triggers and, and, and with the ability of uh, recording the macro itself as well. So thank you for listening to me uh, for so long. But um, I'm not a routine blogger, so I'm sorry if, uh, you know, I have probably taken more time to say the simple thing. But a uh, big fan of uh, this tool. Um, thank you for listening to me. Thanks for joining me. And uh, have a nice day. Enjoy. Bye.